More than a million people in the UK have quit smoking since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, new study shows. Here's a summary of the article. According to a recent survey by the UK charity Action on Smoking and Health, conducted between April 15 to June 20, more than one million people in Britain have given up smoking. The research examined more than 11,000 COVID-19 patients and found that about 30% of those who had a history of smoking saw their conditions progress to a more severe or critical state. Another study published last month by researchers at the University of California, San Francisco, found that one in three young adults between the ages of 18 and 25 are at higher risk of having severe COVID-19 cases, with smoking habits playing a big part. Younger smokers appear to be giving up smoking at a much higher rate than their older counterparts. Younger people are more likely to be in employment that's been disrupted, or have their education or social lives disrupted. Their lives have been much more affected by the experience of lockdown, whereas older people have been in their own homes and maintained their own space. Older smokers have been smoking longer because most people start in their teens. They're therefore more likely to be more heavily addicted and therefore quitting is more difficult for them, she said. At a press briefing in July, WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said, smoking kills 8 million people a year, but if users need more motivation to kick the habit, the pandemic provides the right incentive. This post received a score of 13,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Congrats on quitting smoking. Now let's tackle your newly acquired drinking problem. Newly acquired? The world's largest empire was built on guys getting shit-faced and waking up on a boat heading towards somewhere that was missing a flag. Do you have a flag? We don't need a flag. We live here. There's 500 million of us. No flag, no country, those are the rules. Whose rules? Our flag's rules, M8. I quit vaping a couple months before the lockdown. The main thing that made it easier was being off work for a while. Habits can kind of get built into our environment and the daily behaviors we have to go through. Changing it all up was easier than trying to change on small thing. I quit smoking as well. Being off work because of COVID is the best thing to happen for my health. Quit smoking. Quit drinking, eating better, sleeping better, have an exercise routine for the first time since high school, not as depressed all the time. Unemployment has been fucking great for me lol. I am using the time I have to figure out something else to do with my life so I can work from home now because I feel so much fucking better. I quit my job near the end of 2019, as I had been working myself into a bad unhealthy hole and I none of the little things I tried to do to get out of it were working. Anyway, off work with nothing whatsoever else to do, it took me about three months to write. My boss called me in March about whether I'd want to come back to work, and having those two things done I said sure. Also being back at work I've dropped 12 pounds, pretty much back to me lean healthy weight I haven't seen for years. Last time this came up and was attributed to the pandemic, someone from the UK pointed out they just banned menthol cigarettes and raised prices as well. This article says menthol and flavoured cigarettes were banned starting in May, and that the cost of a pack of cigarettes in March was going up 27 pence, which is like a 5% increase. So, it's not as clear-cut as the headline would make it seem. It was probably an easier choice for some people to quit given the aforementioned changes. That's more like a 3% increase. You're right, I messed up the mental math and put too high of a percentage increase. However, the article only references the price of an average pack of the most expensive cigarettes, so I was assuming a higher percentage increase for the less expensive packs. They range from £8.75 to around £13, if that helps. I had to look it up because I roll my own, I don't think I've bought a pack since it would have been 15%. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.